Hello and welcome. My name is Robin Armbrecht at Really Robin Stamps and you are joining me for Paper Crafting Playdate. Today is February 24th, 2023. And this is episode 83 of Paper Crafting Playdate. And I am so excited that you are here and joining me for some um, playtime with paper. I have a kind of a unique project for us today. We're going to um, use six by six um, papers and make a double pocket envelope. And I'm pretty excited to show you. So let me show you the table. And then I want to make sure we're streaming where we're supposed to be streaming. And we'll say hello. Hi, Becky and Karen and Susan, Evelyn, Debbie. Yay, you found me. So no, I'm so glad you're here. Thank you for joining me. Hi, Sarah and Wendy. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Bonnie. It's so great to have you here. So let's see. This is almost the last week of celebration. It will be over um, the last day of February, which now I have to look at the calendar. Is it the 27th or the 28th? The 28th. Okay. It's the 28th. That makes sense. So next week, Tuesday is the last day of celebration. So um, there's still an opportunity to place an order. There's still an opportunity to earn um, my little um, embellish, um, not embellishment, a little background making card kit. So when you um, spend $50 with me in the online store and you use the hostess code, um, you'll, all, you'll earn a celebration product and then you will also get my little kit, which I will mail to you. So leave me a comment. If you are brand new, I'd love to know where you're from. And if you're joining me live for the first time, put a little smiley face in there. I'm so excited um, to have um, people joining for the first time and just, you know, finding me, right? Because it's um, streaming is a new thing for me. So I, this is interesting. Oh, good. Evelina needs paper therapy. Good. I do too. So let me show you before we get started. I'm gonna start off with this um, new um, product line, I guess is what we'll call it. I'm not, I guess it's a suite, but I'm not really sure. So Stampin' Up! loves to do new things. One of the things that they're going to do in um, 2023 is they are going to promote um, online exclusives. And so these will be products that will just be released right into the online store. And why is my phone ringing? Oh no. Okay, I thought I had do not disturb on there. <laughs> anyway, um, forgive me. So there will be things that will just be available online and demonstrators get a sneak peek at that, but we don't even know everything that's going to be new. So this is a little flyer. Um, if you're on my email list, you'll be getting this this week. This begins next week, right after celebration ends. There are um, some things here that are on this flyer and then everything that is going to be offered in the um, online exclusive, you'll be able to find on the store or you can use this little scan code starting in March, March 1st. So I thought it would be fun to use some of these products today, but there's a sweet, um, a bundle, there's new papers, there's a bundle of embossing folders, um, which are kind of exciting. So, that's something to look forward to. It's always sad when celebration ends, but then there's always something around the corner. Okay, so I am calling today's project a double, what am I calling it? A double pocket envelope card. And let me just take that away. I'm gonna stand up here. Hey, Faye. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I think it was my son calling and I think he's on like my favorite list. So it lets those go through even though I like, I don't know. I'll have to look into that. Um, so I'm going to use this paper. Sorry for that. This is the brand new paper. Let me just show you what it looks like. 
it has some really nice like green combinations and then these pinks and yellows. So the colors in this paper are Flirty Flamingo and Petal Pink and Daffodil Delight Soft Sea Foam. And then Stampin' Up is uh, has put some of the old in colors in here. There's Pretty Peacock and Lost Lagoon, which if you've been around um, Stampin' Up for a long time, those are old colors that were once in color. So it's kind of interesting that they're doing this and they're not giving us a lot of information. But um, I'm wondering, I'm wondering if we're going to have a little color, a color change up in our color families. I don't know. We'll have to see what happens. So one side is nice and floral. The other side are those great, delightful watercolor like patterns. So this is called... What is it called? Hello Irresistible. And here is the bundle. Here's the stamp set, Irresistible Blooms, and then the dies that go with it. So I haven't played a whole lot with that yet. I've been working on other things, but I wanted you to see that. Okay, here's my idea. <laughs> and it's not my idea. I linked below um, Pink Strawberries and Camellia crafts designs so i was i am a follower of pink strawberries i've made a project of hers before she does all kinds of fun things um a lot of mini albums and pockets and things like that so if you are a um if you like to make those kind of projects definitely go check her out because her um her work is real simple and uh, amazing so I watched her video on this project and I thought, this is great. I love ideas um, to use six by six paper. She watched Camellia Craft Designs and got that idea. And so I linked both of those um, ladies below. Definitely go check out their channels and um, see the kind of projects they make. So this is really cool because it's an easy way to take two pieces and create a, uh, a specialty like envelope but it's actually like an envelope card. So before you get started with this project, you wanna find two pieces of paper that coordinate together. You're actually gonna see three sides of this paper when you put the project together. Um, so just keep that in mind. One of the sides, um, you won't see it all, and then if you have a, a pattern that has direction to it, that will, you know, kind of complicate things a little bit, but I'll show you how this works. So let me just show you my pattern. I definitely recommend that you create a pattern whenever you're doing something new. So um, these are the, this is actually the second project I'm going to show you. Um, I. I change up the dimensions a little bit, but it's the same kind of thing. And just so you can see where I'm going, our two pieces are gonna get scored and layered together like this to make an envelope with a pocket here and a pocket back here, okay? So I'm gonna show you the basic idea first. And so I want, let's see, how did I do this? I want, this to be the flap and then I want this to be the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to score at two and a half inches. And then I'm going to score at two and a half inches. This is why this project is so fun because it's easy. All right, so here are, they're scored exactly the same, but you um, flip them around and you layer them like this. Sorry, like this. And then you get a pocket here and a pocket back here. All right, so two and a half inches and one flap is on the top, one flap is on the bottom. So to glue it together, 
the one that makes the um, the bottom is where the adhesive goes. And you're just gonna put adhesive all the way down those two sides. Um, before you do that, make a little finger grab. I'm using the essential tag tunch. <laughs> Punch. Did you know that um, this is one of the celebration free items right now? If you don't have this tag punch, you can get this for free with your $50 order. That's pretty amazing. I use that all the time. All right, so finger notch glue on the sides, and now this one sets inside here, right up to the score line. Okay, and then we still have adhesive right here, and we're just gonna fold that up. So I'm using liquid glue, um, because not only does it hold well, but it gives me a tiny little seam here. But you can definitely, um, you can definitely use tear tape, and you can definitely use the Seal Plus, and both of those will hold really nicely for the envelope. You might have to adjust the measurements for the inside card just a little bit um, because your, your margin will be a little bit bigger. Okay, so here is the double pocket envelope. So the pieces that go inside <clears throat> are three and a fourth by five and a fourth, like that. And then you've got the same size that'll fit back here, like that. Okay, so let's decorate this. Zoom in a little bit. Hey, Cheryl. Hey, Nidia. Hi, Jana. Oh, it's so great. I feel like you're all here. You're all here in my Stampin' Room with me. Thank you so much for joining me. Okay, so I wanted to use our little Easter Bunny set since these colors are very springy. So let's make a little bunny. So if you don't want to color your little bunny, you can do him in just colored paper. Actually, that's a little bright. I'm gonna grab I'm gonna grab puddle pink. I think I want a little more subtle. Sometimes flirty flamingo is just a little too bright. But I love it when it's kind of um, shaded in the papers like this. It's a really pretty color. Okay, I like that better. So I'm going to create just a little tiny focal point on the front. give our the little envelope a, a nice little a nice little front and then we'll take these little eggs Oh, that's 
and we'll add those right behind our grating. So if you want this flap to stay closed, you can adhere your pieces on the bottom and then this little flap can tuck in and out. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm just gonna put dimensionals along the bottom. He's pretty sweet. And I'm gonna add Wink Estella because he needs a little sparkle. And I'm just gonna put those on those little places where they, the fur would be a little bit lighter. And then he'll have a little bit of shimmer to him. Okay, so there's the outside. And then what you do with these pockets really is only limited by your imagination. So you can <clears throat> make one of these pieces like a card um, with your message. And then you can add an additional message or you can add a gift card, um, all kinds of things you could put in the pocket. So I'm gonna give this just a little border here. So that will peek up inside like that. Isn't that fun? And then on the back, so this would be a great place to add a, um, a gift card. So if, you, or if you're lazy <laughs> or you just don't feel like coloring in, just give that little bunny a little blending. And then he's good to go. Let's do that on this one too. So I'm just taking 30 Flamingo ink and just blending it right over the little, little bunny. And you can do the same thing across the top where these little eggs are, and that'll just make them stand out as well. So this would be a cute place for a gift card. I need to, I only have some Christmas gift cards, but you can see how you could just mount that on there and then stick it in the back. Okay, so stick that in there.
and there you go. So that is the original version that I saw on those two channels. This is called a double pocket envelope made with six by six paper. So the finished size is three and a half by six. And so it fits into the um, mini slimline envelopes. I went out and got myself some of these. So we uh, a couple weeks ago, we did a um, slimline tutorial and I was trying to figure out the mini slimline size and so I ended up, I got some envelopes. And anyway, this is a perfect project to fit inside these, um, this size envelope. So we might as well just decorate it, right? These bunnies are so cute. Okay, so that is the original idea. And you've got this cute little, cute little way to just kind of make an extra special little card. You've got the two pockets, so it's a little bit interactive. All right, do you guys like that idea? I thought it was really, really cute. All right, let's put, so these are the embellishments. They're called Loose Frosted Dots, and they go with this new Irresistible Blooms Suite. So let's just pick out some and give them a try here. So it comes in the with the colors in the paper. So there's, um, there's the petal pink and the peacock or lost lagoon or whatever it is and yellow beautiful oh my goodness all these little sizes too they look like candy i just want to eat them i can taste them right now but i won't Let's, so these don't have adhesive on them, so you have to attach them. And I'm just using the liquid glue here. All right, I'm gonna let that dry. These are very sweet. So I know some of you are demonstrators. Does anybody still have their Lost Lagoon or their Pretty Peacock ink pad or paper? Because I sure don't. <laughs> if that color comes back, I will be repurchasing all of that goodness. All right, so here's another one. This is this again, this is the finished size of this card. And I used this paper, but I used the Irresistible Blooms um, bundle. Um, something you can do is use a corner rounder. Oh, Linda has Pretty Peacock and Nydia still has it. Good, good, you guys are gonna be all set. You'll just need a reinker, probably, right? Here's a, a little um, corner, so you can make that. So for this one, instead of just doing a single sheet, I just um, doubled the dimension so I could make a little card. Oh, Wanda still has it, yeah. Okay, so that's the inside, and then the back I made out of um, cardstock instead, or colored cardstock instead of white cardstock. And so I'm going to attach a, a birthday gift card here. 
Oh, good. You guys have a lot of the cardstock. That's good. That's good. You're going to be all set. Those are both beautiful blue colors. Okay, so that is kind of the mini slimline version of this project and the original idea. So now I want to show you how I adapted it to fit inside the, an invitation size envelope. sit over here please there you go so I'm going to use the T boutique paper and so I've picked these two um, pieces and I'm going to not use this side so this is the third side that I'm not using so before I start so this one I'm actually using a directional um, a pattern that has a direction to it. And when you do that with this project, you want to make sure this is the piece that goes on the inside of the card. Let me show you this pattern again. So this is how I adapted this. <clears throat> the first thing I'm going to do is cut off half of an inch. Okay, so now it's six by five and a half. So it's going to fit into um, our invitation size envelope. And so um, this is gonna be the inside. And so this is the flap's gonna go this way. And then this one's gonna go this way. We won't see this flowered side. So what I've done is just changed one of the measurements. So we still do one piece at two and a half inches for the score line. And then the other one we do at two inches. Okay, so whichever one you want, let me put this right here. So whichever one you want for the front flap, which is this, you're gonna score at two inches. Okay, and then the bottom one, you're going to score at two and a half. Okay, so this makes the top. And then that directional pattern is going to be on the inside. And then this makes the bottom. And so this piece actually makes the pocket in the front and the pocket on the, on the back, right? Because this goes right in between. And what's gonna happen, because I changed that measurement, is we're gonna get a little bit more space to see both designs on the back. Okay, so let's put this together. Again, all the adhesive goes on this bottom piece like that. Okay, so we're gonna put adhesive here. We're gonna remember to make our notch before I put the glue on. So then this piece is going to sit here, right up against the score line. And then this folds up here. Okay, so here is my version that's going to fit into a regular envelope. So let's decorate it. I'm gonna bring back our cup of tea bundle 
But I wanted to point out that this sweet citrus is such a great companion um, to this, you know, current bundle. So if you were, um, this is my most used bundle of this mini catalog. I have definitely used this one, I think, more than anything else. So if you were um, on the edge about this and you have this already, then you don't have to think about it anymore. Just go ahead and get it. <laughs> All right, so here's our pieces. So these pieces, um, because we made this a little bit um, taller and we made it sh um, less wide, the inside pieces are three and three fourths by four and three fourths. But again, if you use a different adhesive besides liquid glue, then you will want to adjust your measurements and you maybe make it a little, um, a little smaller. So that one's going to go back there. So let's put our decoration on the front. I already took the time to just kind of cut out some of the pieces from this bundle. The little teacup and the leaves and the flowers. Make sure I have all the little pieces here. These little flowers were getting away from me. Oh, I like that idea. Oh, you guys are coming up with ideas for the pocket. A bookmark, Susan, that's a great idea. A tea bag, yes, yes. Oh, keep them coming, good ideas. So this is gonna sit here, and I again, I'm gonna mount it such that this little flap will, will kind of tuck under that focal point. So let's fill our cup. Oh my goodness, I saw the cutest sample um, or card, and I don't remember where, but you somebody put that little Easter bunny in this teacup, and it was just the cutest thing. Okay, so we'll, we'll do that. Let's put these flowers on. So these colors are sweet sorbet and garden green and pretty peacock. And then the yellow is crushed curry. Let's do this side. Okay, so we're gonna pop this up, but just on the bottom. This is a um, Tombow Mono Liquid Glue. And then we need a greeting. I love this teeny tiny little greeting in this set that says, thank you for your friendship. Just give the ends a little bit of a, a banner or a flag. Let's 
add some embellishments to our flowers. These are the in color dots. And let's put one more just at the bottom there. Or, yeah, we'll do that. Okay, so one of the things that you can do with these pieces that you cut off, if you've got something that coordinates, is you can add that little strip to the front flap here. So that's what I'm going to do. And that'll just bring in a little bit more kind of interest. Like that. Okay, so let's decorate the inside. Isn't this fun? And you can just get so creative with all these images that come in the stamp set. You can do all kinds of things. Whatever. So we'll add some little flowers in here. So this little tea set has some really um, greetings that I have never had before. And so this one I've been just using so much. It says take care of yourself. So this would be great. I think some of you suggested like if this was a um, get well situation that you could do that. I love this. Let's get together soon. And... Let's take this little leaf and we'll just do a couple in the corner. Of course, you could use your little corner rounder on this piece too all kinds of things okay so then you can put your message on the back and then for the back for the back insert that's where i would put um a gift card I love this little I miss you. So we'll just make a little border. Oh, that's cute. It's, it's kind of nice when you think of things in your head and you're like, I'm not sure how that's going to come out, but it ends up being kind of cute. All right, so you can put your little um, gift card. Again, I only have a Christmas one, but you could stick your little Starbucks card in there. All right, so that's a nice little message that you're a friend card and you want to get together. And yeah, I have a little tea bag here, so you could stick 
stick a tea bag in there too, or you could put it on this inside here. Um, in fact, if you didn't want to put, you know, let's say you were making this for um, a birthday gift for somebody, you can actually fit like three, um, three gift cards in here. So you could just fill this with gift cards and then use this back piece as your, as your card or your message, right? So lots and lots of things you can do with this. And then I'm just gonna show you that this fits into our invitation size envelopes. So you can mail it. Um, depending on how much you stuff in there, you might have to put an extra bit of postage on there. But wouldn't that be so much fun to receive? I love it. I was tickled with this little idea. Something different, something to use those six by six pieces for. Um, not a lot of cutting. Um, I haven't made one like this yet because I ran out of time, but you could take this other strip and you could attach it and turn this into like a little, uh, look like a little handbag, right? Wouldn't that be sweet? Now, of course, this would be something you'd probably have to give in person because um, you wouldn't be able to fit that in an envelope. Um, but that would be a cute way to use that extra strip or you could add some ribbon and make it look like um, like a little purse. All right, so here, this, this is the companion set, right? So this is the tea um, boutique paper as well. And I paired it with that sweet citrus bundle. And so here's our inside message. And then back here, I just put two little tea bags in the back with a little get well soon. All right, and here's one with the Dandy Designs paper. This is that awesome celebration paper that one more week to get that big pack. Put in some of the conversation bubbles. And then just made a simple little card on the inside. And again, added the little words at the top. And this is with the um, Regency Park paper. Again, with the little strip there. And then you can put the little other little strip across the top of this on the inside. So you can use up those little strips in lots of different ways. So I made this for my mom and dad for their anniversary coming up and I thought I'll get them a little gift certificate for a restaurant and then their little message in there. Okay, are you liking this? I hope that you are excited. Now I've got one more little variation to show you. Let's move those over there. So um, back to where I found this idea on the Pink Strawberries um, channel. Um, she came up with a variation, which is what I'm going to show you right now, to kind of take this idea and make it into like a mini album. And so I'm going to kind of do a, a variation of her variation and do um, just a different size card. So I'm going to go back to the original measurements um, and use six by six paper. So of course, this paper didn't come um, six by six. This is the Enjoy the Journey uh, designer series paper. This is also a free item 
right now for celebration, uh, grab it. This paper is awesome. I love, love this paper. So I just cut down two pieces, six by six. And so I'm gonna make this into um, like a trifold card in that mini slim line version. And so I'm gonna go back to just using the two and a half. Um, and I'm going to make my pattern. Um, this one I'm using, let me start over. This is gonna be a vertical card. So my pattern um, can be this way because the, the instead of it being this way, the, it's gonna go up um, into a portrait style. And then this one is going to also be scored at two and a half. Okay, so they're going to nest together the same way. All right, but instead of doing it like a pocket this way, I'm going to turn it so it's going to be like a trifold card with, with one pocket. Okay, so these are going to go together. And so you have to choose whether you want the pocket to be on the inside or the outside, since it's going to be a trifold. Um, I mean, you could. Could, no, I don't, I don't, I don't. You could, you could still fold one down, but this is kind of just a little bit different idea. So I'm gonna do the pocket on the inside. So I'm gonna make the notch here. Okay, and then I'm going to put the adhesive on three sides and leave this whole side open. So now we've got a pocket here. Like that. I might have to make that just a little bit smaller or narrower. So I'm going to do three inches uh, because of the adhesive here. Yeah, that's better. So that's three inches by five and a fourth. Okay, so now you just really have to decorate this. I thought I'd bring back this Mountain Air stamp set and then these happy labels. This is actually gonna be um, a card for my husband. His birthday is tomorrow. So I'm going to put on the front a little focal point here. Take garden green. Front. So I'm not going to make a latch on this one. I'm just going to attach this. Okay, and then on the inside, you know, you can do all kinds of things with this. And I'm actually going to put a picture here, and then this will be the inside message. So let's stamp some mountains.
if you're just joining live, yes, you are you are definitely seeing it live. Okay, so I'm gonna take pool party because that's one of the colors in here and just do some mountains. And then we'll do the tree line. And then I'll put the happy birthday message there. And then I thought it would be nice to use one of these tree dies um, to create, put a little tree here. So I got some pool party and I have some adhesive sheets so that I can just put old ones the papers coming off on the wrong side okay so when I run this through it'll become a sticker so I'm going to do a tree in the pool party and then I'm going to do stamp some trees in green and then I'm going to stamp the clouds Now we have some little embellishments to use. And this one's going to be difficult, so let me just do this again. And sometimes doesn't quite cut all the way through. And if that happens, uh, just line it back up and send it through again. I'm gonna do it upside down this time because sometimes that makes, makes a difference. It's just such an intricate die. All right, so now we have some ways to embellish this. Like I said, I'm gonna put a picture here. And so, we'll put our tree. Oh my, I'm gonna have to work on this. The tree's gonna go here. <laughs> I'm gonna put this one here. Like that, 
and then I'll probably put another little message right here. So that's going to go there. That would look good over there too, but I'm going to just add a little bit over there. And then I will, you know, put another little greeting thing there. And of course this will fit into that mini slimline envelope. Let's add some embellishments on the front. And we'll call that almost done. What do you think about our little trifold card? That's pretty cool, right? You could do the same thing, sticking a gift card in there or something. I think this, this idea needs to be explored further. This is the only one I've made so far of this. Um, but I think it's a neat little different, different kind of card that maybe, maybe you've made something similar, but I've never made anything like that before. So I found it very exciting. Okay, let's bring our cards out and kind of look at what we did. As always, there's going to be a PDF available with these projects um, and the dimensions so that you will be able to um, download that and keep that um, ready for when you're ready to do these projects. So we have the original idea, and then we have my modified version that fits inside a invitation size envelope. And then we have this little trifold card version. All right, so you have a favorite. Which, um, which version are you gonna try first? <laughs> Thank you, Kathy. Yes, Judy, definitely get that mountain paper. Thank you, Sarah. Yeah, look, let's see. Are these, I guess these aren't security, are they? These were just from um, Office Depot and they are very plain, very, very small, but this was the, version so these are actually uh three and five eighths by six and a half so that's the that's what they're called i love to read your comments thank you so much please continue the conversation about um trying something new and trying this pattern with your six by six. I sure hope that you enjoyed this and that you are inspired to go um, do some stamping today. So I encourage you to um, jump in and pull out some paper and make one of these double pocket envelopes for somebody that you care about. Thank you so much for joining me today.